All right, what's going on, everyone? It's Eric. Welcome to the video. Okay, so what I wanted to do was I just wanted to start off by saying, it seems like everyone really is hating on uh, Home Advisor, and I absolutely love Home Advisor. But I'm going to start off with just the negatives on Home Advisor. So basically, uh, I do. I mean, my marketing. I am. I'm not. I'm just going to say it. I'm really good at marketing online. That's how I've built my business and I'm, I do it for other people as well and absolutely love it can't say enough about it anything that's online related I love and you know so that's that would include home advisor so but one of the things about the psychology of people and the, the type of person that's attracted to home advisor is a skeptical person so like a skeptical person you know it's like I see the value in, in Home Advisor as someone that's purchasing a service from somebody, but and it makes sense logically. But it seems like it attracts people that can't make decisions, and then it also attracts people that um, are so worried about getting scammed, or they're just very anal analytical people, and they and and analytical t people can't make a damn decision, <laughs> so. So, um, you know, and it's like, well, I'm going to get the, go through the process and I'm going to make, I'm going to get four bids and I'm going to do all this stuff. And, you know, how, however, that's their selling advantage is, is safe and secure. And most of the leads online are ready to go. They're ready, you know, they're ready, they're ready to make a, a decision very soon. And for some dang reason, Home Advisor attracts those types of people. That is about the only bad thing. Well, and the other only bad thing I can say about them is that they, there are a lot of leads that are kind of like, like you can pay for different leads and different leads cost different amounts of money. So like a lawn mowing lead, and these are these are not exact numbers. I'm not a detail guy, just so you guys know. But a lawn mowing lead is probably like 35 bucks, and they're it's priced high because they're saying, well, you're going to have that client for a long time when you do get one. And then, like, an aeration leads like, 10 bucks. And then there's, like, gardening service. Like, I don't even know what gardening service is, but gardening service is, like, I don't know. Let's just say it's 20 bucks. I, I don't know what it is or tilling or whatever. Well, they'll sometimes, like, and you can pick what exact leads you want. So, like, if you want density in a certain market or if you want to build... A crew that only does let's say gardening service and that's what you want to keep them busy every day of the week doing that same thing so you don't have to uh, switch out your equipment all the time or you want to get the best bang for your buck when you're purchasing some equipment I mean that's another great reason why this why service or it used to be called different it used to be called service magic why home advisor is freaking awesome okay it's not cheap but um Anyways, I got I got kind of sidetracked there. I can't even remember what I was talking about, but um, I actually wrote a list for you guys. So now with with ta dealing with the analytical people, the way that I have success with Home Advisor is speed. Okay, so what I like to do is any service that I do a lot of, and I like you know, and I want to dominate in that area. And I'm not saying I dominate in any area, but if I want to dominate in that area and I want to be seen in it, it doesn't matter what it is, it's like having an attitude. It's like kind of like in sports, you know, like you're not going to be denied. Same thing is how I feel about it in business. And it's like, well, this guy's coming in my territory. I'm going to give him a bid. If someone wants any information, I better be on the bid list type of, type of a deal. So... So I'll do like irrigation, I'll do fertilizer, I'll do mowing, and I'll do stumps. Now the strategy here is I don't freaking drive around and waste gas and fuel and all that BS to do these services. These are services that they call up, you answer the freaking phone, and, and then you get them to make a decision on the phone right there. So you're not wasting any time. I mean, um, there's... You, you know, gas is way too expensive to be going out and looking at a lawn. You already know you're going to charge whatever you're going to charge for that lawn. 
obviously there are exceptions, but ask if they have a gate, ask if there's a hill, and give them a price, get the decision done, and move on. Um, stump grinding, I can usually get them to take a picture. Everyone's got smartphones now. Start creating a relationship. They're text. We're texting back and forth about it. You know the picture and all oh, great and whatever else. Um, and they can, you know, tell me how many inches it is. Boom, right there. Fertilizer. You measure the lawn. You go and and you give them a quote and and you ask if they want the service that right then. You want me to send a guy out tomorrow? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I mean, the, the main thing is, is if you are not good on the phone, if you're not good at selling, then it's not going to be something for you. But you, it's it's something that if you're a business owner, you better learn to get good at it and don't shy away from it. you got to answer your phone. Um, so those are the services that I mean, I, have, I can't get enough. If I don't have to come out to a property and look at it, that's where I'm going after is those, those types of services. And we do tree stuff, but it's hard. It's just one of those things where it's like I have more work than I can handle all the time, and my biggest problem is finding good people to do the work. I mean, that's that's where I'm at in my in my business. So, you know, I don't have a lot of time to. If I can leverage my time and have the office person who's answering the phone or if I'm answering the phone, be able to give, you know, put these uh, these estimates on, get some kind of a some kind of a bid per square foot, bid per inch, uh, bid per zone type of a deal. It's it, you know, and I can say this is how much I want to get for this or this and this is if they have this many zones, charge sixty five dollars. If it's ten, you know, if it's ten inches, charge a hundred there's a minimum trip charge of 65. Any stuff like that, I absolutely love it. And I love uh, Home Advisor for it. And especially with the irrigation, I'm going to go into that because I, I really like irrigation a lot. I do it. And I mean, this is like you guys' secrets of mine that I'm sharing with you, just so you know. So, <laughs> um, your irrigation, I have that phone the phone forwarded directly to me when it's an irrigation call and I'm talking about for blowouts people want to check it off their list especially in homes that are above 400,000 which anyone in my neighborhood that if they have irrigation their their house is worth 400,000 it's a $65 service they don't they just want to get it off of their list off of their list you know it's friday they get, they're going to a dinner tonight or they're going on a date or they've got kids and they're just like I don't want my pipes to freeze I know a lot of you guys if you're in the south you don't even know what I'm talking about but in the fall time um, you know the pipes will freeze where I live in Minnesota here so people have to get their pipes uh, blown blown out it's called the winterization so it's like the phone rings all day long and you just answer the phone give them a price and they say okay and if you, if you can do that, I mean, and plus it's already a very profitable service. It's one of, the, I mean, it's it's probably one of the pro most profitable things we do. But you know, um, you know, you're making money for sure, and it's absolutely worth it. Um, so let me just go into this. Okay, so like I said. I make websites for people, doesn't matter what industry, if it makes sense for them to have a website, I make websites. And I also do some of my own lead generation sites. So like I'll make I'll make a page or I'll make a website for for like like let's say a tree service, which I did. And then once I get it ranked, then I'll give give some guys some free leads and then we work out a deal type of a thing. And it's set up a lot like home advisor except for they're not bidding against other people so it works out really good so anyways i was looking for a contractor to do that so i i went on here and there's a list of guys and that that do tree stuff so i was just looking for someone that was in the area uh that i could call and talk to and then what i would do is i just google their name like a sort of tree care 
and then get their phone number because this phone number they'll pay if I call this they'll pay uh, they'll pay for the lead so I don't do that that would piss them off probably but anyways um, so this is what I wanted to show you let me see here I got some notes okay basically when you're going into a market and you're gonna make a decision a business decision on whether you should do this or not not an emotional one um, but a business one let's say you are a tree service okay um, and you just to give you some background I typed it let me just back up here I typed in uh, Woodbury Minnesota so that's an area very good honey hole spot to do some marketing in 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 my area okay um and i just typed this home advisor thing in to find it but so basically i'm looking for somebody that that works locally in in minnesota so or in in woodbury so you go on here and if somebody else was looking for this that it, it'd be the same thing like if someone was actually looking to hire a tree service they would look at these exact same people so we got all these people now what you want to do from your point of view is look at this and be and just be like okay this guy here where is Corcoran Minnesota uh, not even close to Woodbury St. West St. Paul oh that's pretty close New Hope it's like 60 miles away St. Paul could be close just depends on where Brooklyn Park, not even anywhere near us. St. Paul might be close, depending on where. I mean, that's so general because that's the biggest city in Minnesota besides Minneapolis. Uh, Brooklyn Center, way on the west side of town. Um, St. Anthony, I mean, come on, are you serious? So, oh, here we go. One guy in Woodbury here. And then, I know this, there's another one too. Or close. There's some other Brooklyn Park, Cannon Falls. Here's a Woodbury. And then there's another one. Anyway, there's another one. So the point is, is that if it was lawn mowing, uh, tree service is a little bit different. Let's say that you live in an area, you work in an area, you're in that area all the time. You know the market in and out, and you're there. You're just already there. And then you've got a guy that's 70 miles away, and he's going to bid. Who, who's going to win that bid? Well, I would hope you would. Otherwise, this other guy is going to lose his shirt. Um, so you're going to – Home Advisor can make you look very good in certain circumstances. Um, but so – that's just something to think about there but you gotta answer the phone and you gotta give these people quotes right away that is a secret to um, having success with it but then the back end side of this is some services or some uh, people this doesn't work out as well but I mean our industry is all about a book of business. I mean, if you have contacts and you have uh, a list of people that you can send emails out to, which I don't think a lot of guys do, but I I do it, and if I didn't, my business would be extremely different. That's what you got to do. I mean, you're collecting names. So if you pay five bucks for this, well, you're paying five dollars, or let's say you pay twenty bucks for a lead. Well, you're going to send these guys three emails a year, you know, for the next five years. They're going to freaking buy from you. What they're going to do is their other company is going to piss them off. They're going to be pissed off, and then they're going to be like, I should have just freaking went with the guys that were more expensive in the first place. And then they're going to go with you. You know, I mean, so... It, I mean, I really can't say enough about it. It's a really great thing. And the nice thing is, is you can turn it on and off whenever you want, which is another, I mean, it's just, it's, 
it's an expense, but when you run a business, you have expenses, and I really like the service, and I'd really like to hear what you guys have to say. I know there's a lot of negative people that talk about it, and, you know, running a lawn care business, maybe I don't want my competitors to to be in in doing it, you know, so maybe that's, I don't know. Anyways, get to work, guys.